to print data in in the rich text box to your printer so you'll first begin by double clicking the print button before that you import a system a dot drawing dot printing after you import the library you you define print p setting as new page setting new page settings and then dim use font as Mm, as new fonts mm, then into brackets mm, Arial say 10 then You deem string to print as string okay so in this button mm, j just uh, write the code um, write the below code mm, print mm, mm, document. first before that I need to add uh, I need to add print document and and print dialog so so just write the code below print document one Default page settings equals to print print page settings. So what this code does is to specify current page settings. Then there is the um, string to print equals to which rich text box dot text then print dialog one print dialog one dot document was to print uh, document one what this code does is to specify document for print in the dialog box and then dim mm, as dialog results mm, dialog 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 results goes to print 
dialog one dot show dialog then if uh, results goes to dialog results dialog results dot ok you print documents the print so if okay you print the document yeah. So we'll, we'll, we'll also add some code here in the print document one. Mm. Say dim as integer. Then dim. as integer then dim as string then dim string format as new string format and then dim results no, we saw that dim rectangle draw as new rectangle new rectangle f then e dot margin e dot margin bounds dot left then e dot margin bounds dot top then e dot margin bounds dot width then e dot margin dot height So what this code does is to define rebel rectangle on page. Also add dim size measure as new size size f. Then we're gonna use uh, this so I'll just copy and paste it here and then you less use font dot get height So e dot graphics 
speed graphics for this code does is to define area uh, to determine text that can fit in one page and makes height one line shorter just to ensure the text doesn't clip mm, then we'll add equals to string trimming so this breaks between words when drawing a long strings and then Measure string and then mm, string to print use font size measure size measure and then string format and then number of characters number lines so what this line of code does is to compute line that can fit based on size measure uh, a string string format mm. uh, oh okay so we'll also add string for page equals to string to print dot substring and then zero and number characters so this line of code um, it computes string that will fit into one page so so add this graphics dot do, draw string and draw string and then string for page and then use fonts and then brushes dot black you can, you can choose whatever you like but I choose black in this tutorial and then a code draw and then So what this line of code does is to print page, mm, print string on current page. Um,
Hot open. Oh, 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 oh. It was fine. So, um, this is how the code works. Also, add here an if uh, statement. So, if characters is less than uh, string to print uh, dot length then uh, train to print equals to dot subs String just um, copy and paste all this, and then e dot has more pages equals to true. So what this could does is that if there, there are more text it indicates that there are more pages then subtracts text from string that has been printed then uh, else e dot has more pages equals to false then string to print equals to reach text box one dot text so what this code does is to say that all text has been printed and then it restores the string so if we so if we run this code, click welcome button, you can say So if you say print, it prompts the printer here. So you can see your printer will be seen here. These printers and these uh, options here. Then you print. So this is the way it works. And stay tuned. Yeah.